Hi everyone, welcome back to Subnautica, it's episode 30. Um, well, I did a quick Google search and I remembered the number one location for finding Sea Crown. Yeah, the moment I read it, I realized, oh, of course, um, the aquarium, the, 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 the um, Sea Emperor's Aquarium. Wait, where, where's the entrance to this thing? Uh, the Sea Emperor's Aquarium has a uh, Sea Crown in it. In one little corner of it. I I had this problem years ago when I played this game, where I, I just couldn't find Sea Crown anywhere. And then I looked it up and then just searched the aquarium a bit better. Uh, we have no water. We, we, we have to get some water. I, mean, I could go outside and ha hammer where I ate some fish, but uh, let's just go to the aquarium. It's just through this portal here. There we go. Ugh. Getting stuck again. I, I've got a... I've got a thirst problem that i got to deal with. I need to get back to my... Get back to my Cyclops and uh, get some water in me. But just in here somewhere... Um, what's this thing's problem? Let's get our prawn over there anyway. That might be a good idea. I'm going to put my prawn suit nearby. And, now, and then we're going to search this place and find the missing sea crown. And then we continue the storyline. Okay, so where is the sea crown? What is that? That's nothing. There's different, like, mini biomes inside this aquarium. What, what, what was that? I thought I scanned the people already. Oh, he's gone. He didn't like being scanned. Um... I can't believe I... Oh, advantage. Peepers inside the containment facility. Okay, it's an advanced theory thing. Uh, it's none of these things. It's in here somewhere. So I'm trying to get rid of the map but have the flashlight on. One of these corners somewhere, there should be a sea crown somewhere in here. Come on, where are you, buddy? No. What about in here? Yeah, in a cave somewhere. That makes sense. What is this? Sea crown. There we go. Oh, finally. Okay. And we got our seed. So now, when we go to here, we got all of them. We can... Yeah, that's the problem. Let me out. Oh god. Let me out? Here we go. I, I really need some fluids. Can I cook and eat these fish in here? Sea Emperor won't get upset with me. Right, if I just smash a bladder fish and then eat that, what's gonna happen? It only gives vital signs stabilizing. It only gives four H two O anyway. It's not a very good fish, but uh, we'll uh. Okay. If we eat enough of them, we'll be fine. 25. It's a rabbit ray, it's a boomerang. Three. 
three H two O. Anything else that can give me water? These are the best I've found so far. Uh, 30 water. 30 seconds. Oh god. 30 water, 30 seconds. 30 seconds of air left. Okay, we'll top up our oxygen. And then we'll uh, progress the storyline. See what happens next when we activate these... Uh, oxygen. We allow these eggs to hatch. Okie dokie. No, it's not there. It's here. Incubator. Hatching enzymes. Oh, you have to make the hatching enzymes. I haven't made them yet. I've got the ingredients for them, but I haven't made them. I need a fabricator. Okay, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, back to my surface base? Or back to my cyclops? Um, I think the cyclops is closer, but I have to go through the facility to get there, which is a pain. Just go back to my starting base. I can stock up on water and stuff there while I'm there as well. Um, so we'll go through here, and we'll just travel back to base. And because the island is just above me, I can uh, fill up my water with Bulbo plants. Okay. Oh god. Hey, can you give me a lift, buddy? Give me a lift. No? Okay. That was all Reaper Leviathan, I can hear. Oh, that was bad. Okay, we're fine. You can go really, really fast if you... If you do this right. Oops. If you do it wrong, you get stuck and go very slow. Okie dokie. Precious, lovely, liquid nourishment. Come to me. I better not eat any of these. You can't, you can't actually eat a lot of them. If I accidentally destroy one of them, or eat one of them, I'll be very annoyed. Okay. Precious, lovely H2O. And good, we're fully hydrated. Let's uh, let's get back to base. I wonder if I can get up on top of the mountain in this thing. I reckon I could. I've never done that before. I'm going pretty fast. This is pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm out of thrust, so... So I've kind of slowed down a bit. Ah! Uh. I'd rather just sit still and get my thrust back. That's the other thing. With the pro with the seam off, you can just keep going and going and going. With the pro on once you're out of thrust, it's really hard to maintain a speed. Oh, it's a stalker. <laughs> and that doesn't help doing that. Let's just get our thrust back. Oh, God, that would have been so good if I hadn't hit the side then. 
What is that? I'm pretty close now. I'm out of thrust, that's why I'm parking here. Ah. Uh, just launch myself. Beautiful, beautiful. We're almost there. We've got there. We're doing it. We're doing it. Now we can uh, take a lot more water and food with me and all sorts of stuff. We've got 90% power in this thing. I need to go stand next to a volcano or something. Anything else? No. Nope. Okay, let's get the hatching enzyme. There. Hatching enzymes. Okay, we've got them. We'll grab that. we just got some bleach in there. We can turn that into water, can't we? Uh, we've got big bottles of water in our base. We'll grab those. I um I kind of want to dock my Seamoth, not Seamoth, my prawn suit, just to give it some power. Welcome aboard. Just get out of there. That's why I like to make bases with two moon pools. Which is one for a Seamoth, one for a prawn. Beautiful. Is there anything in the storage? Oh yeah, we've got everything in the storage. Uh, I'm just going to leave this stuff in this base here, I think. So, these power thing, power cubes are awesome. What have we got? we got a silver locker. Oh, we actually have a lot of silver in here, and diamonds too. A uh, gold locker. I thought I was storing gold in the silver locker. Lead. Uh, this base is not too bad. Got lots of uh, lots of stuff here. Didn't realize I had. So I could make more um, more alien batteries if I want to. How's this uh, bioreactor looking? Fine. And I will just take these two big bottles of water with us. That's fine, we'll just take them. Um. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I forgot to put this battery inside my... inside here. Am I using two of the special batteries? Let's chuck that one in. That'll just drain it from my base power, but it's solar powered, so I don't, I don't care so much. Um... So once this gets to 100%, we will, uh, we'll head off with our Hatching enzymes, there they are. Is there anything else we want to take with us? Probably not. Okay, um, so let's actually work on something while we're waiting for that to, to recharge. Um, well, we could just make more of these things, which would be great. But um, the Neptune platform is the, uh, the other big thing. Here we go. Two titanium ingots, a computer chip, and four lead. Well, that's easy enough to do. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And was it four lead? And the other thing we need. Ah, sorry, I keep. Yeah, I don't want to explain that. Uh, computer chip. Computer chip, if I remember, is one gold. Two copper, 
So where am I going to find copper, huh? Do I have any copper upstairs? No, I don't. I was just looking in there. Do I have any copper in here at all? Where's all my copper? I can't make a computer chip because I have no copper. Can you believe that? No copper. Oh, I also could have put it in there. Oh, we'll make the two titanium ingots anyway. Just looking for things to do. I'm just charging up a power cell right now. I didn't have to do it in the Seamoth. Um, I could have done it using my power cell charger. I think... Not Seabron, Prawn. No, not Seamoth, I meant Prawn suit. I think it's actually quicker to have them in your actual vehicle and use the moon pool to, to, to charge stuff. Okay, so we've got two of those. We're trying to make a... not a deployable. It should be a deployable. Oh no, it's one of these things. Um, it's not miscellaneous. It's not an interior piece. It's not an external module. I don't see a launch pad here. What makes it? It's not a deployable. How do you actually make it? It's a good question. Does it say? Oh, you make it with the mobile vehicle bay. Okay, you actually use the mobile vehicle bay to make it. Okay, we just need a computer chip which of course requires uh, copper wire. Um, so computer chip, we just need a copper wire, two table coral. Nope. What do you think the chances are of me finding copper very quickly? I, I know there's there's all sorts of resources I haven't I haven't grabbed yet. Oh god. Stay away from me. Oh god. I've just aggroed a lot of them. All these red fish blowing up. There's a lot of cave sulfur now. I don't actually need cave sulfur. We'll grab it anyway. We can turn it into flares or something. There might be use for it. Okay, so I'm just trying to get two copper. That's not a copper. That's a copper. That's a copper. I've got my two copper. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll just oh, there's nothing in there. Maybe after a while they just don't produce cave sulfur anymore. It's none there either. Okay, we'll turn that off. We'll go copper wire. Oh, another thing I should have been doing was recharging my batteries while I was here. Oh, we need two table coral samples. So, while I'm getting two table coral samples and making all that stuff, let's, um... Well, we, we can't actually... We'll just stick the, uh... the battery in there. Anything else? This is at 96. That's at 98. Get rid of that. 96, 100, they're all just fine. I can... And boop, there we go. So we'll just charge those really quick. Get ourselves a table coral sample. Just go to our usual place. We've got our thermo blade. Oh, we've, uh, we've chopped away all those. Get these now. Oops. Did I just get five? No, it's only four. Okay. Computer chip. There we go. What is this? What does he want me? I'm not going to make any flares. Um, we're not going to do that. We'll leave these in here as well. Uh, we'll take those down with us. 
So the Neptune rocket is four lead, two ingots, and a computer chip. Two ingots, four lead, computer chip, the titanium we can put away. Which we will. Oh god, we got no titanium in this base, but it's very easy to get in this base. Um, two of these batteries are full and ready to go, just one to go. It's, um, yep. Yeah. It's just this one that we need. It's at 85%. This thing should be charged by now. It is, yeah. Put the iron power cell in there. We've got a spare power cell on us. Um, all looking good. Oh, I want to put one of these iron power power cells in here. That'd be cool. How do I get out? In fact, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to, um, we'll just put an ordinary power cell in here. Put the ion power cell in here. There we go. And our Seamoth can now travel for a very long time without sunlight. I mean, sunlight charges it up anyway, solar powered. But if we go deep under the ocean, it's not, it's, it's got so much extra power. Crazy. Um, we will leave this power cell in here somewhere, probably. It'll do. This thing's at 97. The other thing we're going to need is our mobile vehicle bay. Um, we, can, we can go and set that up right now. Um, if we want to make a. Oh god. What was that? I still don't know how to make those um, gas pods, and that's one thing I, I would like to do. Anyway, um, create torpedoes and use them. I, I want. I'm wondering if I can set this up on shallow land. So if I if I chuck this down here and then try and put the platform down, will it let me? Neptune escape rocket. Okay, let's get the launch platform. Here. Must be constructed in deep the water. Okay, that answers that question. Deeper water, but this is where my Cyclops is going. Fine, we'll, we'll construct it here. Very deep water, there we go. It's actually going to be too far from my base. I don't. I don't want it here. I just realised. Let's put it here. Let's go. So now this is going to go and make our platform for our Neptune rocket. So we'll just uh, we'll just sit and watch this for a while. So I can get rid of that hand sim symbol. Whoa, this thing is big. Only two titanium ingots and four lead, and I make that giant thing. I should just put them everywhere. In fact, that'd be cool if I could just, like, completely line the ocean floor with these things. Neptune platforms. Look at this. I got my own platform to live on. Oh, and then from here you construct the gantry, which is just a plastic ingot, copper wire, and lub lubricant. Okay. We can work on that later, but I would love to just fill the ocean with these platforms. Like, like make a line of platforms from that island to that island, so I could just run directly across. 
It's pretty cool. The size of this thing. If I can fill this with water, I'll have my own swimming pool. Anyway. Now, oh, let me up. I don't think you meant to jump down there. Hey, right, beautiful. Beautiful. So yeah, like, if I just moved this now, and then, like, shoved it a little bit across, would I be able to make another one? Like, could I just stick another one, like, right, right here? Oh, what? no, that's the same place. Yeah, it's interesting. If I, if I just do this, would it let me make another one? I mean, I don't have the resources, but yeah, it'd be cool to put put these platforms everywhere. Not 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 to create a bunch of escape rockets, but just to have platforms on the ocean. Um, anyway, I'm I've been messing around a lot. Time to stop messing around. I I assume everything's all ready to go. Things done. Good. We can. Uh, well, firstly, let's put this back. In here, let's get our habitat builder battery. Oh, oh no, it was repaired. Okay, fantastic. There we go. Let's get ourselves fed and watered. We got some med kits, we got some food, we got some water. We're fine. Oh, that's just salt. Not a big deal. I'll just quickly check to see if this has got fuel in it. I could use one more. There you go. There's a water ready. Heck, we'll just take some water with us. Salt. Goes in here. It's time to go. We're not taking that. Something else to do? No. Nope. Right. Let's go check out what happens when we uh, put those hatching enzymes in. Now, if the uh, the Sea Emperor is a Rust player, they will say thank you for doing my work for me and then kill me loot my body. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very salty about Rust. It's, uh, it's just one of those games where everyone is pure evil. Trust no one. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're just heading back to the aquarium. We're going via the, um, you know, the gateway. Our poor Cyclops has been stuck in the uh, that big lava region with a sea dragon this whole time, so uh, it's a little bit disturbing. We're getting there. Um, yeah, so building a, um, a base near that big tree, it kind of looks pretty and everything, but uh, functionality-wise, I don't think I recommend it. But if you're going to build a base, build it in the actual lava cave with the sea dragons and all the bitey creatures that are going to attack you while you're trying to build the thing. Because you really want deep sea bases to be near near teleporters, so you can fast travel around the map. We'll go this way. I'm sorry, I just attack these now the moment I see them. You little bugger. Oh my god, what? Son of a... Come back here, you.
he teleported away. Okay, anyway, back to work. It's, uh, sorry, that was just me getting revenge. Little jerk teleported me out of my uh, machine while there was a bone shark attacking me. There we go. So yeah, I am wondering, if I use the grappling hook, do you think it's possible to like get to the top of the mountain? Just like grappling and uh oh it doesn't look like it actually. My prawn was really struggling there, just to get up one little one little bit. It, it might be possible though. They just keep like jump boosting like this. And combine it with a grapple. It, it might be possible. It might be possible. Um, anyway, I should stop screwing around. Let's uh, let's get back to the storyline. Um, I'd be really curious. I'd love to see someone get to the top of that hill using a bronze suit. I, I think I think it can be done. I think it would take a lot of time, a lot of messing around for uh, like half an hour, but you'll you'll figure out a way to do it. And, uh, okay, so... I might do it off-screen, and then just start the next episode with me on top of the mountain. Something like that. Don't know, and I'll give you an approximate time of how long it took me to get there. Anyway, we have, um... We have a body to cure. Our body, in fact. The sea dragon is gonna miraculously give us the secret to a cure if we hatch her eggs for her, apparently. So that's that's what we're working on. Let's, uh, let's just park our, our prawn to the side here where it's gonna be out of the way. I would like to start drilling her, just, just for the fun of it, but no, no, we're, we're dying. We, we, we can't. Mutually assured destruction. Wait, what was that? I saw my... I saw the scan option come up for a second. Yeah, you just can't scan her, unfortunately. It doesn't let you. What is that? Oh, that was just the fish going over me. Anyway, let's, uh, let's... Get some oxygen. Three bubbles, there's a Gary fish there. Okay, here we go, let's see what happens. I might stand back. That's slightly disturbing. Okay, I did it. Give me my reward. Give me my reward. Dudes, where are you going? My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell. What is that? Touch concentrated enzyme 42. 
It left an enzyme here, and I can touch it. Does that mean I'm cured? Is there a way of telling? If I like take my gloves off and look at my hands, my hands are not bumpy anymore. I'm cured. I'm cured. There's another concentrated enzyme. It's concentrated enzymes everywhere. Dude, you did it. Dude. Are you about to kill me? Let me scan you. Oh, what does this mean? I can use my prawn suit and attack you now? I think she's dying. She's what been living for what, over 1400 years? Yeah, 1400 year old creature. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Let's head out and see where they went and what happened next. But yeah, there's these concentrated enzymes here. What's happened out here? They all ran out here for some reason. These things are spitting them out. They're like vomiting them up all over the place. And we can pop them around. So anything that touches them gets cured. And these things are spreading them around everywhere. Okay, so it looks like the planet is going to be cured after all. Okay. Beautiful. Well, that just begs the question, am I really cured? Well, there is one way to find out. <laughs> Should I start attacking these four dudes? No, we'll leave them alone. They're friendlies. This dude, however, is not friendly and must be destroyed. I don't think I've ever killed one. Ever. They always uh, evade me. Oops. Well, we'll just hang for a while. Wait for our purple bar to fill up. Um, remember when I tried to, you know, really early on the game when I came into this building, it actually jabbed something in my arm and said, you're infected, you can't turn the device off. Well, maybe I can turn the device off now. I'm not infected. We don't, we don't need to quarantine this place anymore. Besides, if I try and take off with this machine on, I'll probably die. Meanwhile, I can't actually get out of here. There we go. And I'm stuck on something. Yeah, the floors are so glitchy, unfortunately. Oh. Okay, so there is a machine somewhere which tests your arm. I might just leave this in the, uh, in the moon pool here. Yeah, and we'll get out. Yeah, you sit, buddy. So, maybe, maybe I can... Maybe I can heal myself now. What I'm wondering about is, if I never ever touch the radio, just don't touch it, and complete the entire storyline up until that point, and then turn off this uh, device, then I talk to or Avery Quinn, or whatever his name is, from the Sunbeam, will they just come down and rescue me? Like, did me repairing the radio actually get him killed? Something I've never tried. They probably don't let you. They probably lock the game so that you can't, you can't actually play it like that. But I'm going to try it one time. 
Anyway, let's interact with this device. You know what? I think the power's gone out. I think that's it. I think the machine is turned off. I don't think I have to worry about this thing blowing ships up anymore. Huh? Yeah. Ouch. That was silly. What is this? Oh, I think there was a tablet located on there before. Um, okay, I think that's it. We've turned the uh, we've turned the giant machine off. What is this? alien rifle? I want that. Da da da. Strong resemblance to a human weapon in form. This device must have been designed as a human user. Mind. Whether the aliens that build this structure with themselves humanoid or otherwise employed the use of it. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove the rifle from the case. Ah. Uh, that's annoying. No obvious way. Aha, uh -huh, that's a clue. Maybe there's a very unobvious way of doing it. Uh, but I think, I'm pretty sure I have neutralized the, uh, the giant quarantine laser. And we don't have to worry about getting shot out of the sky. Um, okay, so, the next thing we do is build our rocket, I guess. Um, I don't think I'm very happy about the fact that I've left my Cyclops in the Sea Emperor Cave. You know, near the, near the lava city, lava castle, whatever it's called. Um, so, I think I might have to go back through the portal and, uh, and fish that thing out of there. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. We, the game's not over yet. I'm still stuck on this planet. I still need to uh, escape it. I, I don't know if I want to anymore. I kind of want to just make a big home here. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens next. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. Bye for now.